Hello, everybody. Wait, wait, could, could, could you just wait like a few moments? <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Uh, INFP here, and go fast. just give me one second. Just one. I know, I know, but like. Friendly Neighborhood INFP here, and welcome back to today's Gotta go faster, 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 faster. episode, where we will be talking about ESTPs. No time for relaxation. Don't, 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 don't blink. Don't think. Just go, 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 go. <sighs> Despite the apparent need that they may have to quote want to go fast which all jokes aside not all estps do desire to do in fact there is a wide variety of things that come with the estp personality um they are very much present orientated types of people very much focused on the here and now um not terribly huge into like future things or past things there while they can think of things that happen in the future or things that have happened in the past they're more focused on shall we say the six senses or five senses or five senses plus the sixth sense my point remains and they are very good at being able to read people, being able to do a great number of things that allow them to spread out into various different areas. Now, while some people may think that ESTPs are more, shall I say, uh, stereotypically drawn towards sports. Sports! Ah! You'll be good at them! That doesn't mean that all ESTPs are going to be drawn towards sports. ESTPs have this desire to, in their own way, want to figure things out. But they're more of a hands-on approach than, say, a person who might be a little bit more speculative. That isn't to say an ESTP can't be speculative, and many ESTPs, in fact, are speculative, the difference is that they're, the way they speculate towards things are quite different to, say, how an ENTP may speculate towards something, or how an ENTJ or ESTJ or ISTP or whoever may speculate towards things. ESTPs are, in some ways, problem solvers. They're the go-getters. They're the people who generally tend to on surface level always be on the move but they are also known to be very charismatic types of people who generally are able to win over a lot of the people's attention so to speak due to that charismatic nature that they may have um which as far as i can tell a lot of estps do like you throw in a picture of an estp you throw in a drawing of an ESTP, and I've noticed that a lot of people get very attracted to them very quickly. So, what is an ESTP to do? Well, many things, really. Um, but moving on from that uh, issue. So, ESTPs on, let's say, the not-so, shall I say adventurous side of things because ESTPs can be very adventurous one of the things that ESTPs have going for them I actually have not yet seen an ESTP who hasn't been good at hand-eye coordination I have yet to see an ESTP who has not been good at whatever they set their minds to ESTPs are the people who when they decide to do it, when they decide to go for something, when they decide to strive for whatever path uh, they may want to go down, which I will go over, um, they generally do a good job. They'll blaze through that like, well, to be frank, like a firework. No, no, no. I am not playing that song by Katy Perry. No, moving on. 
when an ESTP decides to go down a path, usually, from what I've seen, it is down at least three to five different paths. The first path is obviously sports. Um, stereotypically so, a lot of ESTPs happen to be in sports. A lot of ESTPs happen to watch sports. A lot of ESTPs happen to like things that deal with sports and they will spend quite a bit of their energy on that and if they're fully setting their mind out they can be quite successful at this too not to say that every estp is successful but there are those who can be um estps like i said are interested in the things that can shall i say entertain is that a good word entertain Anybody have an issue with that word? Entertain their five senses, but not maybe in the same way that it may entertain the five senses of that, like an ESFP is looking for. I would actually say that between the two, between ESFP and ESTP, did I say that right? ESFP, ESTP? Between those two, the ESTP is actually going to be less hedonistic than the ESFP. Um, while they may enjoy a lot of the same things, they're looking for a challenge, so to speak. ESTPs enjoy being challenged, physically challenged, mentally challenged. They enjoy having some kind of challenge that they can tackle, wrestle with, be in contact with. Which is why you, the second thing you'll see a lot of ESTPs in is business. Business is... Now, you'll have to excuse if my typical way of talking uh, sounds strange. Uh, the upper lip is still a bit numb. But, I digress. Continuing on with the ESTP and business thing, just after that brief pause, because I can't... Anyways, with businesses, they are going after a challenge. They are trying to figure out how to tackle that challenge. They are trying to figure out how they can use their mental capacity, plus whatever since they have that enjoys that that will allow them to go into that that allows them to grow the business to allow them to read the people in the business and i'm not saying that every estp is going to be friendly to their workers and whatnot everybody is very different but let's let's look at the bright side if the estp is good and decent and knows how to handle people and is, you know, more altruistic, um, they will see what the people need. They may have read The Art of War by Sun Tzu, because The Art of War is often read by a lot of, well, business people, because it had, like, a lot of the stuff that is an art of war is often used in business practices, and an ESTP may, if they willingly read that kind of stuff, they may go read through it to see how they can tackle that situation and bring in more business, how to help their business, how to negotiate, how to perhaps take down a competitive business, how to do just a multitude of things. It's a kind of enjoyment that they're doing it in the present and they're able to figure everything out so that it fits in kind of the way that they're looking for. Yet, in some ways, they're not exercising their, what would it be, nigh? Yeah, nigh. Um, even though they may have a future focus for the business, they are more concerned with what is happening at present scale. Uh, what is happening right now? What is currently going on? How can I help the people? How can, if this business is going through some trouble, how can I fix it? And when I say businesses, I also mean that uh, the entrepreneur side of things. ESTPs are both working for people and, of course, running their own businesses. Either case, they will be in some kind of position where they feel like some kind of mental capacity is being challenged or some kind of physical capacity is being challenged on a day-to-day -day basis. 
So that's the second thing. The third thing you may see a lot of ESTPs in is gaming. Um, specifically, from what I've noticed, first-person shooters, crafting games, um, so things like Minecraft, things like Call of Duty, things like Fortnite, things like uh, Apex Legends, things like... Um, is there another crafting thing that isn't uh, Minecraft that I can't figure it out? There probably is. Competitive gaming, gaming that like builds things, ESTPs are typically going to be all over that. At least some ESTPs are typically going to be all over that. Why? Because once again, it challenges both their mental capacity and some part of their five senses that they are finding enjoyment in they are getting a challenge if you haven't gotten my point by now estps love being challenged you tell them no they'll say oh really you tell them yes they'll go oh well i'll still do it um if they you know enjoy it if they are having difficulty they'll go Yes, if they are, you know, if it's something in the present that they're trying to figure out, fix, do, challenge themselves in. I'm not saying that all ESTPs do this because, you know, there can be some unhealthy ESTPs. But typically, in some level or capacity, an ESTP is going to be doing something that they feel challenges themselves. So that is why gaming, because you're going to be facing off of a bunch of other people who are either better than you or as good as you, and you're trying to beat them. You're trying to be better than them. You're trying to make your hand-eye coordination be better. And that is why you will see ESTPs in the gaming arena. You'll see them in the professional gaming arena. You'll see them like, okay, um, I forgot some league and dota and smite and anything where there is competition where potential money can be made you will see estps there without fail without question does that mean that every estp is going to be there no obviously not because people have different interests i'm just saying that estps if they find a challenge in it they're going for it got pretty clear that ESTPs enjoy challenges, right? Okay, now, beyond that, we have them being in, um, let's say the arts. And by the arts, I mean acting, I mean music, and I mean dance. Those three specifically, why? Because once again, they are utilizing their body, they are utilizing their C, they are utilizing their um, well, that is if they're in a action movie, which surprisingly a lot of ESTPs and ISTPs, but I'll get to that in another video, happen to be in. Um, ESTPs tend to be in more action movies that deal with groups of people. ISTPs, once I'll, I'll get to it, but they're more of the loner, I must ride off into the sunset alone and brood type. Um... So ESTPs are generally more energetic, they enjoy being around people, and they typically enjoy being around some kind of team or another from what I can tell, not that it's always the case, but I digress. So that's why the movies, um, it can even be in like sappy things if the ESTPs are finding uh, romance a particular challenge. Basically anything that they can find, once again, pleasure in within the five senses in a way that well, I said it before I'll say it again challenges them for music much the same thing they are going through both the challenges of the music itself the enjoyment of music because who doesn't like music like come on who honestly does not like music plus plus there's a lot of ESTPs who happen to enjoy playing the guitar, who enjoy playing the drums, and who enjoy singing. And some, I'm sure, even enjoy playing the bass, depending on what kind of bassist you're looking for. But, my point is, they are picking it up because they find some kind of, once again, enjoyment with their five senses. I, I feel like I'm repeating this so that it kind of, like, gets into your head. Um, because that's kind of the ESTP's whole deal. 
Does it fit with the five senses and in the present sense? Yes. Does it challenge me? Yes, no. Uh, no, well, okay, I'm going to try and do it and see if I can't do it. If I can't do it, well, then I'm going to go and do this other thing. Um, and sometimes they do things that don't necessarily challenge them, uh, especially when they want to relax and just let off steam. It's not that ESTP is a must always be challenged, although an ESTP can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but generally, for a good majority of the bit, they enjoy that um, struggle of fitting together patterns and like doing all that kind of stuff. This is why you will see ESTPs and things like parkour and parkour movies and all that kind of stuff. Which, speaking of parkour, this actually transitions into dance because, well, how better to get your body relaxing and how better to be a suave person to pull off those amazing dances. You go, ESTP. You go. Just, <clears throat> um... <clears throat> Don't let the ESFP show you up, but don't tell you I said that. <clears throat> so, with uh, that said, um, what was the other thing I was going to go into with the ESTP on the things that they typically go into? Uh, no, no, I think that's good. Other than that, that is my ESTP general video. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!